Welcome to another fortnightly tarot forecast with Rashmi and me. So today we are here back again for your September forecast for the first quarter. So let's see what is in the store for you and our sun sign. Okay Rashmi, so let's begin for all the sun signs and we begin with Aries and you all know that some things will go and resonate with some and some may not because this is a very generic reading. Right. Yeah, so right. take it in the right spirit and take what resonates with you and take the rest. Okay. okay. So let's start with Aries. And uh, so Aries, you have the moon card first. Thing. So uh, that means there's somebody maybe not telling you the whole thing. You know, somebody may be just hiding something. So somebody's being secretive. But one card is really beautiful. It says some good news is coming your way. And uh, that good news could be related to finance. It could be related to a new project that you have taken on. All in all, it's a great reading because there is also a lot of travel. So travel could be either a holiday for some of you or some of you. It's that business venture that you have taken on. So I think it's a great um, fortnight for you, Aries. And uh, the only thing is that you need to balance and harmonize things around you. you know. So some sometimes you may be feeling off late. That things have not been so, uh, you know, balanced. Say, uh, you know, from your, your home front and your work front, you know, you need to balance the energies. You know, you can't be spending too much time on your new venture. You know, uh, you need to spend time with your family. So otherwise, all in all, a great reading for you, Aries. So now let's see Taurus. Taurus, your the young ones basically are going to have an impact on your life. So it could be your children, it could be somebody uh, younger than you giving you good advice and you're going to take an impact, uh, have an impact from that situation. So also some of you may be depending on your children for some good news. Though there is something which has not worked out, you know, it's not worked out rather. So you need to move away from that situation, that project or that relationship even. You know, so it could be either in your personal front or your work front. So, and also to uh, achieve your current goal, I would say you need to be goal oriented. You need to be focused on that particular thing. You know, you're losing focus. You're losing sight of, you know, what you really need to achieve because maybe you have too many things, you know, uh, going on. So, be goal oriented. What you could know is keep a, a crystal, you know, a pointy crystal or like a pyramid shaped crystal, but in your east. In your study, okay. in the east direction. That way, should, should, should it be clear quartz or any color? It, it's better if it is a clear quartz. Okay. So do that, Taurus. So what's the next sign now? Judgment. Gemini. So Gemini's. There is a card that says higher studies, higher knowledge. You know, so you are delving deep into something. You know, and those of you who are studying students are going to do very well. So it's a good card. You're feeling rooted. Uh, this is fortnight and you are actually grounding yourself, you're feeling reassured, you're feeling secure and one advice for you all is play with nature, go with nature, mm. hold on to trees, take deep breaths, you know, so be one with nature this fortnight that will really refresh you and make you feel okay because in the past fortnight I feel, in the past few days you've been through very stressful situations, you may have even had sleepless nights. So now what time is coming when you're going to feel calm, more poised and like I said, be with nature. That will really help you. And follow your heart. Take guidance from your heart. Basically this means listen to your intuition. Mm -hmm. Inner voice. Yeah, inner you voice. Focus on your inner voice. So you can also meditate to get closer to your inner voice. Yeah. So now uh, let's do the next sign. Cancer. Cancer. Cancerians, love is in the air. So somebody is going to be Really, really loving you, showering you with gifts, showering, showering you with attention, and uh, there's the Empress card for you, which means abundance also. So, one thing has finished off, you know, and it's also coming back. So, it's an amazing card actually. It's a card of contradictions. Something you know, you wake away, but again, it's coming back. So, it's like a renewal. Which card is this? What I mean? Yes. So, so this is the Eight of Cups, which is reversed. Okay. So it could be in a relationship, you know. So coming back, it's a coming back. But like I said, because love is in the air, 
So it's a great period for people in a relationship. So uh, also you'll be rewarded. So if it's in the work front, then something was finishing, but it's coming back. So it's like a renewal. On the love front for some of you, and for some of you on your work front. It's a renewal. So it's like, a, you can say, also a change scenario, a new scenario, right? And uh, so what you need to do because of this scenario, southwest, you're in your southwest direction, place plants or just pebbles, you know, pebbles uh, and even plants, they'll breathe life into that corner and then new life comes. Why, why do we place plants? Because of the, uh, you know, the, the, the life energy, the life force. Yeah. So that's how. And also another um, advice that be a little more adaptable. Be a little more tolerant. Okay, now let's see what's in store for Leo. Okay, so Leo's, that's the next sign. Right, so for some of you, there's going to be an estrangement, an argument, a separation, uh, maybe even you know, a break of a relationship or a marriage. So it's for some of you, not for all of you, because there's another card which is so beautiful, it says getting together. So for some of you, you're finding that new partner in your life. And for some of you, it's an estrangement. It could also mean that those of you who have uh, recently broken up or there's been a spat or you know some kind of an argument, you're getting back. So for work, it's a great, great card that you've got. Uh, it means that uh, you know you are really now establishing yourself in a much. I mean, you go to the next level. Mm -hmm. you know. So the work front is really good for you all. The only thing is you need to give out clear cut communication. You know, the clearer you are and, and you, the more you spell it out, mm -hmm. that you know you meet with more success. Also, you are unnecessarily worried. You keep thinking a lot, especially now I'm talking about the work front. So uh, let go of those worries and tensions because unless you perform positive things, unless you think positive, you know, sometimes negative just comes about because of your negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, it comes out in the income. Mm -hmm. So therefore, don't bring it upon yourself. That's what I'm trying to say. Because things are going... Uh, very good things are in fact hunky dory in your uh, work. Yeah. So just affirm positive things. Yes. This is, you this can is also good. meditate and see positive affirmations that are already on this channel and keep yourself in a great state. So now let's move on to Virgo. Okay, so Virgo's. Uh, wow, there's good money coming. You know, so it's like a big fall. You, some of you may not even be expecting it, but some of you had. You know, maybe applied for the loan, or you were expecting some money which was stuck. Especially those of you who are in a business, you know, somebody owed you money, so now that is going to come. This this work, um, this work thing. So it, that is good. And, um, and though on the on the emotional front, on the you know on the personal front, you're feeling a little emotional. You're feeling a little discontented. So maybe uh, it's just a phase. So hang in there, I'd say, because, uh, you know, we all go through these, uh, you know, you can say mood swings and ups and downs, especially in our personal life. So uh, nothing to really, really be concerned about. It's just, I feel it's just a phase. And also, stop depending on others. You know, even on your personal front and even in your work front. Take control, take charge. Why don't you take charge? That's, that's what my card is saying. And uh, if you are unhappy about one particular thing, because I've got a mantra for you, and you're not being able to tie over, you know, this phase which I was talking about, then just say Om Mani Padma. You know, I've been telling you about this mantra. It's a Buddhist mantra, and it really helps you. It's like a, uh, you know, correcting your karma, getting over obstacles, achieving what you want. So it's a very powerful mantra. Om Mani Padma. So say this for time and you'll see the result. Yeah. You'll see how effective it is. Now okay. My side. My side. Okay. Right. Liberals. Liberals. Okay. So uh, Liberals, wow, you have the sun card. So another holiday plan <laughs> or another break, another getting away, you know, so a retreat of some sort and also a renewal, you know, some sort of a, a renewal, maybe in a relationship. Or maybe even in the job front, maybe something had just fallen off and now it's going to come back. And also, you're going to be struggling between two things, maybe two uh, situations. 
at the work front or maybe even two projects and I'm not saying you're not doing well, you will do well but it's like even in the personal front it's like sailing in two boats kind of thing and you know you've got between two things and uh, what you should do is uh, you know meditate, do a chakra meditation uh, this whole time chakra because your chakras seem to be a little blocked so that's what is uh, hampering you from really going to your full potential right so just try and do some chakra meditation which means uh, for you know uh, those of you who are not doing meditation so you could just take deep cleansing breaths so when you imagine a white light going in uh, and it's coming out you're exhaling out all the smoke so that is one of the ways and of course there are many other you know there are many other uh, many other ways to yeah. help you feel balanced and centered and you can always check out more chakra meditations in Hindi and English on this channel there are also meditations for one chakra at a time which can be done over a few days so you see that you can go alright now let's see what is in store for Scorpio Scorpio wow that's the Cupid's arrow look wow <laughs> So some of you are love struck, literally love struck. Mm -hmm. So it could be like the beginning of a new relationship. Mm -hmm. But those of you who are already in a relationship, it's happy, happy time. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, an outing plan or a you know getaway mm -hmm. plan. Work front is so amazing. It's so amazing. You know you are really riding high, and you know you are doing everything. You know you could be the sinusoid of what eyes because you're doing everything the way it has to be done, and you you know playing it by the rules which is also great and uh, for even more good luck especially in your work front and even your personal front I think it's a beautiful reading Scorpio your personal front is great mm -hmm. and your work front is great North East direction light that incense that will bring you even more uh, good in love yes. yes and whatever you decide impulsively I mean it's amazing I know this is something very quantitative I never tell this to my clients especially what you decide impulsively is going to turn out to be so right. Okay. That could be like your own words. So that is going to be great. So Scorpions, all in all, I think so far has been the best reading. Wonderful. Okay, so now let's see the next one. Is Sagittarius? Yes. Sagittarius. Okay, so Sagittarius, you're feeling trapped over a certain situation. Maybe somebody's put you in a corner. You know, uh, in your work front or something, you're being pushed into a corner and you don't know what to do. You know, you are so trapped. And um, so that is a little frustrating. Uh, so that's for, for a while. I mean, you have to go through this period. But uh, it's also a period of creativity. So you are being very imaginative. Those of you, especially in the creative line, you're doing things from your imagination and you're being very, very creative. Plus, you're being spiritual. So, like I said, you. Even though you've been pushed in a corner and you've been restricted, you know, you have to work within those limitations, you've been very spiritual about it, you've been very evolved in your thinking. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, a very, very good solution is coming your way. Wonderful. Yeah. And also, you've been very helpful. You know, so, it's great. So, the more you help people, I think you get back multifold. So, carry on doing that, uh, Sagittarius. It's a good fortnight for you. So let's see um, what's in store for Capricornians. Capricornians family life is heightened. Uh, that's uh, going to be your mainstay. You're, uh, you're spending a lot of time with your family. Those of you are in a relationship, maybe taking a, uh, you know, going on to the next level. Maybe getting married, getting engaged. And at the work front, you're putting your foot down over something. But remember, Pride goes before a fall. So never be too egoistic. I mean, I may be too hard hitting here, but ego can go for a fall. So try and simmer down a bit and don't be too egoistic. And that is when you will find the perfect balance. So you give in a little and the other person gives in a little. So that's how you will have win win situation. So work towards that win win situation and then everything is great. And again, for you all, make good affirmations. Make the affirmations of what you want. Don't think contrary. Okay? I mean, don't think contrary of what you want. So don't think contrary. And otherwise, you'll be putting those negative vibes in the ego. Okay. So the next sign, where is? 
So Aquarians are do gooders in any case. They are philanthropists. I feel Aquarians. So they're always doing good. Uh, be careful, don't play with fire. There's a, literally a card which says don't play with fire. So this could also be minor injuries, it could be minor, you know, some silly problem in, in your girlfriend, you know, a little bit of problem. But yes, it's warning you not to play with fire and warning you of minor injuries. And take a break on your expenditures, you know, save some money for the rainy day. And for some of you, there could be a gap between getting and receiving between receiving and you know the flow coming to you. Mm. So it's it's a little delayed money flow. And remember persuasion can achieve anything. So persuasive words, loving words will make you win the day. One good advice. Yeah. And overcome anger. So it's a difficult task you to overcome anger and be persuasive. But I'm sure you'll do it for okay. okay. Yeah. So last but not the least, the spices, so the handman, it says you need to give in. Uh, I won't say you need to sacrifice, but you need to give in. To give, when you give in, you will get back. So this is a beautiful card. This is from a very different deck. Yes, I can see. Which card is this? So uh, this is Othela, it's a room. So this, this room means inheritance of sorts, money coming. You know, so but this also wants you of responsibilities. So therefore, you have to be very wise in delegating those ones. So you are getting the money, the cash flow, but you have to delegate. Mm -hmm. So it's like coming in and going, and make wise investments. If some of you are getting that inheritance or that huge big chunk of money, then please make wise investment. And a father figure, or you know, like a godfather, is coming to help you this time. And some of you are meeting your soulmate. Wow. So those of you who are not in a relationship, good news, you are meeting your soulmate. So that's all for Pisces. Wonderful. So that was the fortnightly tarot card reading of all the sun signs. This is absolutely generic. But now, here is the part where we take our viewers' questions. So today's question is from Akshay. And uh, let's see, he has a question about his partnership. That he's partnering up with certain people from his past, but he wants to know whether he should go forward with it. And they're trying to invest in some funds, getting it together. So whether that will happen or not. So see from the cards that I see, this partnership in principle it's a good idea. Yeah. But they have to wait and watch. There are a lot of things in between which have to be sorted out first. Secondly, uh, the investment they're looking for is coming their way, but there is a bit some I see some hurdle, some kind of an obstacle in the way, and it should come, and but it may not be as per the expectations. It may not be as much, mm -hmm. but it should come. So what there's a card, there's a suggestion for them is that uh, to overcome this obstacle, is a simple thing they can do. They can light a black candle, okay. you know, whenever they wish, whichever day. As many times, you know, so try and do it in one week every day. That will help them, uh, you know, fasten and hasten the process. And which direction should be like this candle? They should be in the middle of their workspace. Okay. In the middle. Okay. Like in an office. And if they are not yeah. going to the office, so then they're, they're in the house where the workplace is. And see the black candle as it melts down, it's a bit of an obstacle. So that is your answer. Actually, the partnership is good. Uh, they might be able to delay and to avoid those delays try the method that Rashmi just suggested. So that was all for today's viewers questions and if you have a question for us make sure to share our video, tag us and then ask us a question on our messages down below or connect with us in the messaging section. Make sure you all like this video, subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the next fortnightly tarot podcast. And I'll, and I'll meet you all next fortnight. next fortnight. So we'll be back around 15th September. So keep yourself in a pleasant space. This is us signing off. Namaste.